A lot of people are at the moment struggling or at least asking questions about the upcoming standard ISO 2144 or the UNECE WP29 regulation. How do they become compliant with such process? Today, I'm going to give you a very simple six-step process that we use at Matrix for our clients to get them to ISO 21434 compliance. My name is Hassan Akram. I am the CEO and the founder of Matrix GmbH, which is a company that operates in the automotive domain and is located in the north of Munich. Bear with me. This is going to be very, very valuable to you. I'm going to simplify the process of getting compliance to ISO 21434. And here it is. The first step that you should take care of is you should do an audit or an analysis. Sometimes we call it gap analysis of the existing process landscape. So this is very important. I'll tell you, most of our clients come to us, they say, hey, we need to be compliant with ISO 21434, but what happens is we find out they're not compliant with ASPICE, they're not compliant with ISO 26262. ASPICE is gonna be the fundamental of your process landscape. If you're not compliant to that in automotive, you're gonna have a hard time complying with ISO 26262 or ISO 21434. So a gap analysis for the existing process landscape, that's the first step. A lot of people skip that and then they struggle. I would highly, highly recommend you to start with a gap analysis of your existing process landscape. Of course, the point of view of this gap analysis is to find out the gap toward ISO 21434 compliance, but we gotta check the existing ones too. There is another reason for doing the gap analysis or audit is step two. We need to also identify the synergies of ISO 21434 and the other existing process. If you have a very strong FUSA process, we need to find out where can we synergize. One example, one typical example is we can find synergies between FUSA testing and cybersecurity testing. There is an overlap and this is where you can save money. So this is really, really important for two reasons. First of all, you want to optimize, you want to save money. And secondly, you also want to make sure that you will be able to harmonize the new process that you're going to roll out with your existing process landscape. And that's why this is very, very important. The step three is defining the phases of cybersecurity in your project execution or for your entire company, the phases. You want to define the phases. You want to go detail. This is where you're actually defining how the cybersecurity process would be. This is the actual execution part. And then once you have done that, what you want to do is you want to kick off with a cybersecurity pilot project. This is going to be your pilot project. This is the project where you'll be implementing the phases that you have defined, the process that you have defined in step three and see how it is going in step five. You will perform internal audit based on your milestones. After you have done internal audit, you're iterating and there is another very important step, which is the interface definition with cybersecurity. You need to define the interface between your cybersecurity process and your FUSA process, cybersecurity process and your software team, cybersecurity process and your hardware team, cybersecurity process and your system team and so on. This is extremely important. And please do not forget the most important aspect is the human interface. If you do not do the human interface right, it's not gonna work. So some of my clients, they have an idea that they will have a cybersecurity team and they're gonna make their product absolutely secured. This is not how it works. Cybersecurity is a holistic process. You also have to train your software engineers who will be writing the day-to-day -day codes. You will also have to train your hardware engineers, your system engineers. So you will have to define interfaces and train them for the entire thing. And if you do so, you are going to achieve a very strong matured process. You will have your human interfaces or different interfaces defined 
and uh, you will be compliant to ISO 21434 without major friction. If you want to know more about our approaches and if you need some help, please click the link below to schedule an appointment with us. One of our team members will get in touch with you and schedule a call with you and we would love to help you more. Thank you so much for watching this. Click the link below now and we'll talk to you in the call. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please click the link below to schedule a free consulting call with us if you need any help regarding the topic of the video. One of our staffs will get in touch with you and would be happy to schedule a free consulting call with you and happy to help you in any of these topics. Please click the link below now and we'll see you in the call. Thank you.